Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, November 23rd. This is the last week of the church year. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 106, verse 1 to 18, and Joel chapter 3, verses 1 and 2, and 9 through 17. Please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Novis. Listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts. As in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. God's mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Psalm 106. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good. For God's mercy endures forever. Who can declare the mighty acts of God? Who can show forth all God's praise? Blessed are they that are just and those that do what is right at all times. Remember me, O God, with the favor that you bear your people. O visit me with your salvation, that I may see the good of your chosen, that I may rejoice in gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. We have sinned as our ancestors did. We have committed iniquity and acted wickedly. They did not understand your wonders in Egypt, they did not remember the abundance of your love, but provoked you at the Red Sea. And nevertheless, you saved them for your name's sake, that you might make your mighty power known. You rebuked the Red Sea, and it was dried up. You led them through the depths as through a desert, and you saved them from those that hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the foe. And the waters covered their enemies, there was not one of them left. And then they believed your words, and they sang your praise. They soon forgot your works. They waited not for your counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness, and tempted you in the desert. And yet you gave them their request, but set leanness into their soul. They envied Moses in the camp, and Aaron your holy one. The earth opened and swallowed Dathan, and covered the company of Abiram, and a fire was kindled in their company, and the flame burned up the wicked. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks to the Most High, for God is good, for God's mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. A lesson from the prophet Joel, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. For then in those days and at that time, when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all the nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment with them there on account of my people and my heritage Israel because they have scattered them among the nations. Proclaim this among the nations, prepare war, stir up the warriors, let all the soldiers draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, and let the weakling say, I am a warrior. Come quickly, all you nations all around, gather yourselves there. Bring down your warriors, O Yahweh. Let the nations rouse themselves and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there I will sit to judge all the neighboring nations. Put in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Go in, tread, for the winepress is full, the vats overflow, for their wickedness is great. 
multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Most High is near in the valley of decision. The sun and the moon are darkened, and the stars withdraw their shining. The Lord roars from Zion and utters his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shake. But the Most High is a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of Israel. So you shall know that I, Yahweh your God, dwell in Zion, my holy mountain, and Jerusalem shall be holy, and strangers shall never again pass through it. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please say the response after each verse. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we praise you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We give you thanks, Almighty God, and sing your praise. Look with favor on your people, and guide us in the paths of truth and justice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.